All right, guys, we are headed oh, to a new beaver property. Oh, did I lose y'all? We are headed to a new beaver property and we're gonna just be scouting out today. I don't wanna uh, wait until the day that I start trapping to go look at this place because from what the owners told me and from looking at the map, it looks like it may be pretty big. So I just wanna go ahead and go over there, get an idea of what I'm dealing with and just spend a couple of hours uh, scouting the property out. That way when I do go back to put in my sets, I will kind of know about where I want to put my sets at. So that's what we're doing today. We're just going to go scout around and uh, see what we can find. So y'all come along. We're going to fire up the old critter getter here. Let it be warming up. Yeah. Why, why, why do we do that? Huh? I mean, it's like some unwritten rule. If you're in a stick shift, you, you got to... Make sure you're in neutral right there. I don't know, something weird. All right, let's go. It is a beautiful day. It's gonna be a beautiful day to be outside. A little warm. So hopefully we won't have to fight any snakes, but you never know. Never know. We're gonna see what we can see. We're going to head on down the road. All right, guys, we have arrived. The gates are opening. And you can see right off the bat that, oh yeah, all that's flooded. All this in here is flooded. Good gracious. So the water is supposed to be coming out of these culverts. And obviously, it is not. We are going to stop right here. Let's see what we can see real quick. Supposed to be out of, going out of these culverts right here. And they are packed. <sighs> so, right off the bat, my first thoughts are snake paradise. But you kind of deal with that as kind of expected with beaver beaver work especially during the hot months we're getting into the hot months I'm running over here shut my door all right so we got another culvert here it's got some water coming out of it Man. Yep, my initial thoughts are now where are the beavers coming from? Because you don't have a very good view. I don't have a very good view. I don't even know where they're coming from. I'll have to get back on my map and see if I can get back, see if I can find a way back there to the back to see where this, see if there's a larger body of water back here. But man. We have a job ahead of us. I'm very glad. Whew, man, I'm very glad that I came out here um, ahead of time <clears throat> just to kind of see what I'm dealing with because that is a project right there let me tell you
Hmm. I'm looking at these culverts. I can see the culverts in the water right here. There's one right there. One right there, and it is just packed full of mud and grass. I wonder if I can get that water flowing. Because, I mean, it is just barely trickling by, guys. Barely trickling by. If I can get that water going, if I can pull. Get them beavers to come out here. See if you can stop it. Just treat it just like you would a dam. We are going to have to go do some wading. I can already tell you, we're going to have to go. We'll go for a walk. Hmm. All right, I'm going to get on the map, see what I can find on the map. Let's see if that'll give me any kind of insight. And we'll go from there. All right, so I've got a little bit of water going out of these two culverts, these two big culverts right here. And we're just gonna see what that does. I've never really had a project like this one before, so I'm just kind of just trial and error. I don't know where the, the lodge is at. There's no banks to investigate, like for dens or anything that I've spotted yet. I am gonna walk around the perimeter find the perimeter, the dry perimeter up here, if there is one, and uh, see what I can find. But the two culverts right here, there's one right here, one right there. I have got a little bit of water running. It is deep in here, guys. I wanna show you my rake. I've showed y'all how tall this rake is before. But, I mean, you see that. I mean, that is, that is deep. So I see high grass. You're not gonna be able to see it cause of the reflection, but there's grass over here and then there's grass right there. And then it's just real dark in the middle. So I, don't, I guess that's the run that they're using. So the idea would be to let this water keep going down. I'm gonna stay out here a couple of hours. Let this water go down, keep going down. I'm gonna keep breaking it if it gets stopped up. And the idea would be to get this water level down low enough to where I could put some traps in. I could put in a 330 right here, but there's no channel. There's no way that I could put a trap in a channel out here because the water's too deep, I think. I think it's too deep for, for what I have. And their channel is going to be out there in the middle right there. That's just what I'm thinking right now. Like I said, I mean, I've only been doing this for a little bit. So this, this, this kind of, this part right here is new to me. There's another culvert comes out right there. And I've tried to find it on this side and I can't really find it over here just cause the grass is so thick. I don't know how far out the culvert goes. I can't find the lip of it or anything. And uh, once you muddy up the water, I mean, you can see it just stays muddy because there's no current over here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna see if I can find the culvert still on this side. And we're just gonna keep playing with it and see uh, see what happens. I do wanna find the, find the perimeter, walk around the perimeter, just to see if I can find a lodge or something. That way I'll have like a, central location that I know that I can trap if I can't catch nothing over here but uh I don't know we're just gonna keep looking and see if I can find a feed bed of some sort we're just gonna see we just gotta play it by ear guys play it by ear and see what we can find and if I find anything new I'll bring y'all back and show y'all that but we're gonna try and do this without dropping our phone in the water all right let's see if we can keep letting this water drain down all right, we finally found the other side to the smaller culvert right here. And we got it going. And it is right here. Took me a while to dig that one out to find it. So I just took a, I was digging out, out over there, but I took a piece of rebar, one of my uh, rebar anchors. And I just started jabbing in the ground until I uh, felt it. Hit that uh, 
culvert. And uh, that was that. So now we got it draining over here with this culvert and we got it draining down there with those two. So the more faster we can drain, faster we get them beavers in here to come fix it. And then that's when we're gonna catch us a few. Uh, like I said, I haven't been able to go out back here to uh, see if I can find a lodge or a hut, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I asked the uh, this property owner, the customer that I'm working for, where his property line stops. And unfortunately his property line stops just right, right out here in this water. So the beavers are gonna be uh, lodging up or denning up in the neighboring property. So I've already talked to him and he's gonna see if he can get uh, some uh, written permission from the adjacent landowner to see if I can, uh, you know, uh, trap beavers on their property as well. And that's only gonna help them out because this water is just continuous to back up into uh, the neighboring properties here. So we've been here a couple of hours now or uh, about an hour and a half now. We got the water draining real good. I still don't know if I'm gonna put a trap in, traps, in if i do i think i can only set three spots and that's going to be the culverts because i'm going out of town this weekend so i'm only going to be able to check once so we will see i'm still rolling that around in my head i ain't decided yet but we're going to keep uh, opening up these culverts as much as we can and go from there All right, y'all, I went ahead and decided to put in two traps just because I've been here for a few hours and I really got these culverts running. Y'all can see how much the water has went down. It was way out here when I first got here. So I know these beavers are gonna come check this out. Uh, the one thing I wasn't anticipating was just be, being able to trap this one 50 yard spot, you know? Um, so the property line is somewhere out here in the water uh, there's a fence over there on that bank, a fence on this bank. So I talked to my customer. My customer is supposed to be getting with the adjacent property owner to see if I can explore out in here to see if I can find a, uh, a uh, lodge of some sort just to see where they're coming from. Because right now, all, all I can work with is uh, the culverts. I know they're going to come to the culverts. So I went ahead and put in two sets. And I'm going to be doing some caster mounds. I don't know if y'all can see. So there's a funnel right here. You got the main body of water. And then there's a funnel where it looks like they're coming up right here on land. So TS-85 right there. Caster mound. With a green stick. You can see my caster on there. TS-85. And there's just a funnel that leads out into wider water. So I got got one right there. I got it cabled off with a uh, T-bar uh, stake in the ground. And the other one I have is over here next to the culverts. And I'm running the same kind of setup. I made a caster mound right here. It's got the caster on it with a TS-85 right off uh, the bank there. And for this one, I also added a, an extra green chewing stick. They like that, so I'm really anticipating them coming up to that. I already know they're gonna come out here because I busted up their work. <clears throat> so there wasn't no Nowhere near that amount of water coming out when I first got here. So, they're going to come check it out. And I figured that since it's such a small area, I'm only having two traps. It ain't going to take me long to run over here and check them. Versus having a property that has over a dozen traps. Uh, and it's taking forever to get the traps up, put the traps down, and all that good stuff. Oh man, got a cable laying out here on the ground. I need to get that. So that's it. I was gonna put a 330 body trap in front of these culverts. There's one, there's two. 
I was gonna put uh, some body traps in there, but I was advised not to do that because it could educate the, the beavers real quick. And with them coming up to dam, redam that uh, culvert right there, odds are they're gonna have a bunch of sticks and mud in front of them and that's what's going to set off the trap and not the beaver itself so a, a little bit different how i'm doing this one i didn't really know what to expect but i mean i did expect to be able to trap a larger area than this but see i don't know what what what's back there at all i can't see very well but the, it is deep water. I mean, that right there is uh, over waist deep because I've been out there in my waders. And if I'd have kept on going, it would have been up to my waist. So I do feel like they're going to be coming from that area right there. They're going to be traveling down through here. They're going to smell my first caster set. And I've already forgot where it was at. I'm gonna smell my first caster set. And then they're gonna, uh... oh, oh, okay. There's my first one. They're gonna smell that one. Hopefully check it out and get caught. And then the second beaver that's working the, uh, the dam, the culvert, hopefully he'll find that caster mound right there, TS-85. We'll see. I'm going out of town this weekend, so I wasn't going to start this job today. But like I said, with all the work that I put into getting the water running, I know they're coming. They're going to hear that water, and they're going to be coming. I would love to have me some cameras out here so I could see what all goes on, where they come from, and all that good stuff. But not there yet. I will be in the future, though. You can kind of see... See if I can show y'all on camera. See that? That's where they cross at. All that is giant rocks down there, so I don't know where to anchor to or set down there. But where it comes out at, it goes right there where I have my caster mound. So we'll see. I have no idea how big the area is. I have no idea how many beavers are in here. I haven't seen any fresh chewings through here except for what I'm pulling out of the culverts. I pulled out plenty of, uh, you know, beaver sticks and stuff out of the culverts that were obviously beaver, but they're not chewing any of this, which means, or which I think means, they're not staying in this area. They're, they're staying further up into the swamp. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up today. Me and O'Critter Gritter are going to go get something to eat. Then we're going to go to church. And then we're going to go to work tomorrow. Maybe have some coyotes over there. And then tomorrow night, when we get off tomorrow evening, we'll come back over here and see if we caught two beavers. It would be really nice if we did. We'll see. All right, we'll bring y'all back tomorrow when we come over here. So y'all be good.